Hello, my lovelies. I hope you're all having a blessed day. I'm just sitting here feeling older than dirt today and really rough. So I could really use some prayers. Everything's blaring up in the vertigo and driving me crazy. Excellent visual of what it's like to live with chronic pain and illness as well as healing from multiple extractions. Also, this is an excellent filter to show you what fibro brain fog and Hashimoto's brain fog feels like. Messy hair, naked face, no teeth, don't care. Hello, Dinger family. How are you all today? I just said I'd jump on here real quick and uh, just let y'all know how I'm doing today. I'm really exhausted today. I didn't sleep well last night. And as you can see, I don't have my teeth in. Um, I slayed a salad a couple days ago and then yesterday I was having difficulty eating. Um, another sore spot there on the bottom, on that bottom denture. I swear that thing's going to be the death of me. But, um, so it's a little sore today. So today, I honestly didn't have the energy to put my teeth in. And I woke up this morning with vertigo nausea. So, um, I wasn't able to eat most of the day. And then about a couple hours ago, I nibbled on a couple of things. But it's not much I can eat without my teeth in because of my TMJ and because of my structure of my jaw and like I said in my other videos that I just healed up recently from a dislocated jaw. Anyway, so I'm probably going to have some soup in a minute, but um, yeah, I just wanted to get on and um, see how you're all doing. And I just want to thank um, Beth McHugh. She's a newbie to the journey and just had her E-Day on October 29th. Shout out to you, Beth. I thank you for your very sweet words and messages. Um, I really appreciated them. And uh, I think I got some other notifications on there from Cha Cha, Genevieve, and maybe Bill and somebody, and Sweet Lady V, I think. Sorry I haven't gotten to them yet. I've just been very tired. So I haven't really been online that much. And um, I've just been really tired. And then the furry babies are here. Hanging out with me. Say hi, Chai Bug. And um, they've been really clingy today and just want a lot of attention. They usually get that way when um, I have to leave and go to the doctors. I know, honey, you miss me. <laughs> they miss me, especially this one. Um, this one has major anxiety separation and everything when they, um, when I leave, sorry. <sighs> that camera around. Um, but anyway, here I am. I can't believe I'm doing this video without my teeth in. I just haven't been comfortable with anybody really seeing me without my teeth in. Um, very few family members have seen me without my teeth in um, on a video call. Much less heard me talk because without my teeth, I sound like Sylvester the Cat and Elmer J. Fudd had a baby. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd be brave and get on here without teeth today because I've been so inspired by several of you who have put yourself out there. And um, I think you're beautiful with or without your teeth in. So, um, yeah, today I'm just taking one of those days where I said that spot is really sore and I knew if I put that denture in today and I just tried to um, power through that it was just going to continue to rub it and then I would probably end up having to keep them out for a week. So, I didn't want to do that. I got some uh, leftover spaghetti from dinner last night. That's calling my name, but like I said, I can't really, I just don't gum well. I, I'm not coordinated enough, and then with the way my jaw is, it just crunches, and I could hear it clicking and popping with my disc over here because of my TMJ, and um, I just, my mouth just, it can't gum the food up enough. And since I have digestive issues, I can't be uh, gummy. So anyway, I'm having trouble holding that phone because my 
It's my bad shoulder that I got hurt a couple years ago. Anyway, so um, I'll probably make a couple of videos um, in a few days or maybe next week uh, covering how I get my adhesive out because I had a little conversation recently with someone the other day. Um, and I just... I'm going to do maybe a couple videos on how I take care of my dentures, um, how I put my adhesive or dental glue, whatever you want to call it, in my dentures. And um, because, you know, I get spots on mine sometimes, just like random different spots that cause sore spots. And so I have to take the C-bonds and make like a little band-aid and then put my adhesive on top. So I'm sure there's someone out there who's going through similar things. And like I said, I'm still in my immediate denture, so we'll see what happens at the six-month mark next month. But anyway, I wanted to come on and just really send out a lot of gratitude and thanks to everybody that left such sweet comments on my last two videos and the ones who went back and watched from the beginning of my journey. Sorry, my mouth gets really, really dry. Um, when I first got had my E-Day and um, got my dentures, I had like so much saliva, the dentist said that I produce way more saliva than most people. Just like my GI doctor says I produce way more stomach acid than most people. Ooh, yay me. I have to be so special, huh? Anyway, so um, I get really bad dry mouth, so trying to talk without my mouth and a mint in. And I just drank some water before I went on. But anyway, um, at night I have to sleep with fans on. We have a ceiling fan and a fan that blows, um, it blows on the, um, the end of the bed there and I'm having to sleep propped up like this because of my vertigo right so I'll wake up like an hour or two after I go to sleep and I literally feel like I'm sucking on a persimmon I don't know if you all know what a persimmon is um, I don't even know how to explain what it is all I know is when you bite into it it tastes like cotton but that's what I feel like I feel like someone shoved a big wad of cotton in my mouth and I, I feel like I'm all the mouthful of cotton and then I start coughing, so I keep water by the bed, I keep mints by the bed, or some hard candy, you know, And but then I have to stay awake, so I don't choke on that, but, yeah, but anyway, I'm hanging in there, um, and I just said, you know what, today, I'm not going to be depressed, I'm not going to get down, because that denture didn't want to cooperate, plus, when I'm nauseated, I can't really eat that much anyway, so I might as well give my mouth a rest. Anyway, I'm sending out hugs and love to all of you that have been sending hugs and love to me. Thank you so much. Um, if I missed anybody in a shout out, I'm sorry. And um, if I don't respond to you right away on your comments or messages or texts or, or, or not texts, I'm sorry, your messages or comments um, or anything, just uh, please forgive me and be patient because, um, you know, sometimes with my health issues, I have... Um, several good days or weeks in a row and then I'm usually trying to do things and play catch up you know um, because of things that I can't do when I'm down and my husband works a lot of overtime so on his days off um, I really like to spend my time with him because I don't get to see him much and um, anyway so just be patient if I don't get back to you right away um, and um, but I will respond you know I usually don't go on till after two um, Arizona time, um, because we're night owls. But anyway, I hope that you're all having a good evening, and, um, I just wanted to send out some love and give you an update, and say, hey, don't give up. If you're a newbie, hang in there, and, um, even if you're not a newbie and you're veteran, just keep going. You got this. You're not alone. And, all of us at one time or the other have been through what you're going through or we're going through what you're going through. Um, that's a hard journey, but, you know, you just got to keep hanging in there. It will get better. And um, just don't be afraid to just um, take your teeth out. I mean, if you're in that much pain and you absolutely can't handle it, doesn't matter what the dentist or anybody says, just take them out and rest. Do what's best for your body. Only you know what's best for your body and only you know what you can tolerate and handle. Everybody is different. We may all have similar things that we struggle with on this journey, but we're also very different. So just go at your own pace, you know? 
and be very proud of yourself for the small victories and um you know don't beat yourself up just know that your mouth is always changing and um it will be until you're completely healed you know and uh speak up and stand up for yourself if you don't like what the dentist or whoever you're seeing is saying you know something bothers you or whatever just keep speaking up it's your body you know you're paying for these dentures even if you have insurance you're probably paying your part or whatever and even if you got some kind of a <clears throat> excuse me grant or donation or whatever to pay for them you know they still should treat you with the utmost respect and listen to your issues that you're having and address them you know because that's their job we don't work for them they work for us you know they provide a service for us and um don't think you're complaining if you're having pain and you're uncomfortable or you have sore spots then you're hurting and say something do not let anybody make you feel like you're a whiner or a baby or a complainer okay all right lovelies i'll talk to you later peace out